Hello, welcome to the first video tutorial about Linux from scratch. Uh, these video tutorials will be uploaded on YouTube over a span of time. Uh, this first tutorial's introduction on what Linux from scratch is, what the tutorials hope to aim, and uh, just trying to introduce mostly an introductory to where the tutorials will be going and building a Linux system from scratch. This is the website. Um, it explains what the, the project is. Basically, it's a online book that you go through and it allows you to download all the open source tools that make up a, a Linux system. All right. Um, second part about Linux from scratch is getting it installed on your system. Uh, if you're like me and you only have one computer, maybe you want thinking to yourself, uh, how am I going to build this Linux system if I already have Mac OS X on this computer? You can only run one operating system on a computer at a time. Uh, fortunately, there's other computer software that allows you to run multiple operating systems on a computer more than one time, and I'm going to use a thing called a virtualization software. I installed VMware Fusion. Unfortunately, it's a time trial, so and it's commercial software, and the trial is going to run out, so that's not going to work. Uh, so I did a Google search for open source virtualization software, and right here, the first link, first link is. VirtualBox by Sun. Pretty straightforward. Go to the downloads page. I'm on Mac OS X, so I download. I have an Intel Mac, and uh, click the download link right there. Save it to your hard disk. Okay, so VirtualBox finished downloading. Mount the DMG file if you're on the Mac. Uh, Double click on the installer. Just follow through the instructions. It's pretty straightforward installation, uh, licensing, install to my hard drive. Just go with the default. All right, the software finished installing. And close this out. This note, the DMG file, got that. Um, all right, so the software finished installing. Um, I'm gonna open up VirtualBox. There it is. It's opening. First thing is that someone wants you to register. I don't, I don't think you have to register, you just click cancel. Um, originally I had some created a Linux from scratch in VMware Fusion, but unfortunately VirtualBox isn't able to import VMware virtual machines. I didn't do much research on it, but just from clicking in the file menus, there's no option to try to try to that didn't work. The import appliance, and uh, I couldn't find any other real settings to import another virtual machine. I figured since virtual VMware Fusion is a uh, commercial software, that it probably wouldn't be able to import into VirtualBox. So no biggie. Uh, create a new virtual machine. So. Click the new button. It's got all these. Uh, this program is real wizardy, so just it's pretty straightforward. Uh, operating system we're going to be using Linux. Just go with other, and we'll name it LFS six underscore five Linux from scratch six point five. So that's the book I'll be going off the website to do the tutorials. Um, I'm going to specify. 512 megs of RAM. 
Alright, so we're going to leave this checked. Create a new hard disk. Click next. Click next. Um, I'm going to choose dynamically expanding because in the beginning, uh, only going to have very few files on the, syst the Linux system that we're going to be building. So it's not required to give it a 10 gig partition when there's only going to be it's only there's only going to be you know two or three hundred megs worth of files on the partition. I'll just have a bunch of empty wasted space that my native operating system, which is OS X, won't be able to access that space. So I'll create dynamically expanding. Call it Linux from scratch 6.5. I'll specify the size to two gigs. Here, using the slider is real sensitive. 1.9, that's good enough for me. Um, cool thing about this is that I noticed is that when you create the create this partition, this virtual partition at 1.99 gigabytes, is it doesn't automatically allocate two gigs of your space on your native partition. It only creates a file, and that file will expand. So I believe that that file can get no long no larger than two gigabytes. So if you only have two hundred megs worth of files on that system, it's only going to be two hundred megs on the native system. Pretty cool. Um, click the next button. Click finish. Um, just kind of gives you a summary report of everything you just did. No from scratch six point five, other Linux base memory. And it tells you the boot hard disk, the VDI file, right there. Click finish. And there it is. Hello. All right. So got VirtualBox installed. Pulled up the Linux from scratch website, and it's now time to download the live CD. <coughs> You need the live CD in order to start. You need a basically, you just can't download one program and start downloading all the programs you need from there. You have to have a, a host system in order to begin the whole process of building the system. If that makes sense. Um, the book talks about it when you go through like the introductory chapters of the book. Here it tells you kind of like what why you need it a little bit and gives you a couple more explanations about the CD. Alright, so I clicked over there on the live CD, little link right there, click the closest link to where I'm located, click there, and I'm going to click this guy right here, 6.3 R2160 live CD. Click on that. save it. Alright, to recap what I went over in the first video tutorial about Linux from scratch, I went to the website, discussed what the project is about, then I went to the VirtualBox website, downloaded VirtualBox, I set up and installed VirtualBox, I created a partition within VirtualBox for the Linux from scratch system, then I went back to the Linux from scratch website to download the live CD. I'm doing a recap because YouTube caps videos at 10 minutes or two two gigabytes. So this will be the end of the first video tutorial about Linux from scratch. The next tutorial will pick up right where this one left off. Thank you.